Okay, here we go. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You, you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Dean. Ricky out. Seeing me. <laughs> What's this? Hey. Can I help you? Hey, Schizo. How's it going in there? You like your new digs? Deke? Deke! Talk to me, brother. You know why I did it. First of all, I ain't your brother. And yeah, I do know why you did it. Oh, Deke! Come on, damn it! It wasn't personal! You gotta know that. There was no other way. Talk to Iron Mike, please. You tell him. Tell him I was just trying to save the camp. That's all I ever wanted. Oh, I'ma talk to Iron Mike. As soon as they find your ass guilty, I'm asking him to give you to me. Come midnight, me and Boozer, we're gonna tie you up. We're gonna put you in the middle of the highway, and we're gonna wait for a horde. Deke, you gotta listen to me, brother. What do you suppose that feels like, huh? Torn apart? Eaten alive? Deke, I was just trying to stop Carlos, stop the Rippers, and keep this camp safe. This is our life, Deke. You know what? I think we're going to do that whether they find you guilty or not. Goodbye, Schizo. Deke! Deke! Damn it, listen to me, Deke. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. And I didn't mean for it to go down this way. Dave, listen to me! Dave! I gotta get the debt cord. Hey. How did I ever trust this asshole? Hello? This schizo won't be needing this.
gotta go see Addie, get this arm fixed up. Can't let it get infected. We know what that means. can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Addie, shh. There are Addie. so many wounded Addie. and so many dying. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. Still save Boozer's life. That's gotta count for something. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure you know the Rippers didn't steal them. And then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords. But I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. I guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace, I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? This is some fucking treaty. You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. He'll be there. <laughs> So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not! Alright, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Carter a ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, Whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taking over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah, yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, you won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Duke Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on.
almost out. Behind you. South from here. Following you. It's easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. All right. You ready? I'm heading in. Yeah, stay low. Move fast. You got it, brother. Who's it? Never mind. Go, go. Wait, wait, wait. 
I set the first charge. You see the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Yeah, I see it. Heading over. Alright, I'm setting the first charge. up here. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I think so. Unless, wait a minute, was this already... <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Uh. Brother, you, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? Yeah, I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many do you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. Alright, looks like we go in on foot from here. You wanna stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. Fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. We want some payback. We show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with it. Yeah. You get my point? Four rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they did. I just don't know it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Come on, you want some? Take our left. Our left. Yeah, yeah, I got this. It's a breaker.
right, Jesse. There's no way you're getting up there. <laughs> Cheryl. God damn it. Here. No. I'll boost you up. Okay, listen. So it happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. No, 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 no. Listen, that is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and you kill that son of a bitch. Jesse Williamson. Brought low. Yeah. Oh. Do you remember back in the day? You and Boozer held me down while Jack burned the flesh from my back. Those, those memories kept me from being free. Jack thought I was crazy. I knew. I knew who you were. I was in one of them. I did Held me down. Oh, Jack, burn the flesh from my back. <laughs> those, those memories kill me. <laughs> It was good being out in this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and pulling weeds. I know maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Wow. With Jesse gone, how many do you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo, so there's no one left. Shit. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. Well, like I said, I... I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then. And what with all the 
hell breaking loose. I, although maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh. Um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, nah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I... Maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> It's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? Is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us. All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't going to change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't going to make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs>